team and stuff. All right, let's get to business. Uh, good day, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Um, you've all heard about a rumor, I assume, that has been going around. Um, and I've, I've called you all here to uh, discuss what's been going on. Well, I'll uh, start because I have a confession to make. I did something very stupid. I, uh, the SVN, the files are deleted. And um, there is no, well, there is a backup, but it's not complete. So it appears we have lost a lot of information. I'm so sorry, guys, but. Everything? Yes. But all the code? The Everything, game, yes. Not back up. Well, the game data has been deleted and all the raw assets. So. I know. I'm sorry. How did you even manage to do that? Um, I'm pretty much overworked. Um, I have daily things I need to get to and it's all so very much for me to handle and I've got personal problems and I just need help. How is it possible that we don't have a backup? How is it possible that we don't have a system for making backups? Well, that well, is that he pretty much deleted the system. The system we had for backups. That's cool. Well, on the art side, I have a personal backup. So I everything don't. that I created, I have a, a backup on my computer. So at least that's not lost mm -hmm. because that will mean the end of me. <laughs> All right, but. You're not the only one here. Does anyone else have backups? Can you work on I place all my files on the SVN exactly because it always secures me a backup. Like I have constant hard drive issues. And mm -hmm. this year I only I need to send back my hard drive right. four times. So that's why I put everything on SVN. And all right, so do you um, you have a serious problem here, as in you're, you've lost a lot of work and yeah. we need to think of the consequences of that problem. Um, and for the code as well? I lost all my lines, so yeah. All right, um, then we need to discuss how we're going to uh, work around this. Um, yeah. So what, what do you propose? What feels right to do in this situation? Yeah, I mean, without levels, there is basically no game, so uh, we need to recreate the levels, that's mm -hmm. basically it. I mean, my levels were pretty much fine-tuned and everything. I think I can recreate most of them from uh, sketches and uh, documentation I've made. So, uh, but this is going to take a lot of time, All right. which means that we won't have a time. I basically have a backup of your levels then because of the uh, art assets that I created and those are backed up. So basically, we yeah. only th the yeah, only yeah. thing that we really, really lost is the code. And yeah, I totally understand that you must feel horrible about it. I do. So... Yeah, it's an honest mistake. This is not like so you intended to make this worse for everyone. So th I don't think that's at all the problem. I know it feels bad, but... This is something that where we have to pull together and make us make something work out of it. Um, so if we can, with the art, reconstruct what you had as the levels, they might not be as good as they previously were, which is a concern. But for at the moment, we I think we need to reduce the scope of the entire project. Uh, looking at how much time we have compared to how long it took us to get to that point, we, we need to cut at least a bit. But if you two work together on that, I think we can get a lot of your previous work back. Yeah, so. for me it's no problem. We can work together and recreate all your levels and uh, maybe cut down the, the scope a little bit to also make uh, make it easier for the programmer. Is yeah. If everybody agrees with that, I think that's probably the best the uh, more outcome the for everybody. Well, the less work, the better for me because I'm, it's just too much for me right now. Then I'll help you with managing that and we'll make a plan on how to go by it step by step so we can formulate the 
construct a, f a fully functional plan that is to get you back on track as fast yeah. as possible uh -huh. without straining you too much. Yeah, how much will you exactly be able to uh, reproduce? Because I don't think this late in the project you can actually reconstruct all the code you have made. Up uh, there is no option. I just have to try my best and... Yeah, that's the point. We need to know, like, how far are you going to get? Because yeah, if, if that, to be in terms of the levels and the mechanics, uh, that's going to be essential in what what mechanics are we going to implement? Implement uh, that directly translates into which levels are usable. If I've also lost all my levels, and you work on code, and I work on levels, and the code doesn't match with what's happening in the levels, we essentially still have nothing. All right, so it comes down to um, that we too will sit down, make a plan, and look what we are able to work out with the code. Then when we have that list done, we can communicate towards you which assets and level aspects we can reconstruct and in what order so you can work in a proper schedule at all. And we can try to make it a little bit, maybe simplified, get creative with the, what we have and uh, make it easier for everybody. Yeah, I don't think that's a problem. I mean, my levels were amazing as they were, there is no real need to do to they, they were really them. good. And since I have most of the documentation sketches still, I, I can remake them. I don't want to change them that much. It's just, it's probably only going to take extra work. Hmm. But if you don't change it, then we still have to write all the, all the code. Uh, Maybe we, the time uh, that there are only a yeah. few mechanics in each level, so if we just pick the levels in Pick a few levels and it works on that. Those mechanics, preferably, possibly the most simple mechanics. Otherwise, it's going to cause problems. And then, then we need to work on. It. If we just do those levels, it should be fine. All right. So yeah. plan of approach. We plan first, then we communicate towards you to what we can reconstruct, and then we have another meeting to see if we can manage it and how we are doing time-wise. Is everyone happy with that? Yeah, no, it's fine. It's happy as something else, but <laughs> I'm, I'm satisfied with the solution. I think it's the best for everybody. Satisfied would be the best solution in this case. Yeah, uh, we'll have to go for it. Um, seeing we have uh, only four weeks left, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, our our you know, supervisors are already aware of this because I mean, if we're going to reduce the scope, we also need to take into account of what they. Definitely. That's uh, another concern, but that's my job, so I'll take care of that. Um, and afterwards I'll relate to all of you how that went and how we will, uh, if that changes any of the, of the plans that we have currently. Okay. Yeah, and maybe by looking at this with a new angle, we can make something that is even better. I think we have a really um, difficult weeks ahead of us and today we should use it for Thinking you to relax yes. because I think that situation was really stressful I think for everybody so we should take this time to do something nice all together and have a little bit of relax before we go like working hard on the... Definitely because this is going to be stressful for everyone and I don't want any burnouts or people quitting because we can't manage to work. Yeah. yeah we shouldn't really push really into hardcore crunch time either. No, that's not that good. That would be neglecting it. our health and at the well, end that would be good for the project or for everybody. Okay. If, if we did crunch time, I don't think I would be here the next, the following week. No, so. I think we can manage to create something that doesn't require crunch time, right? Yeah, I mean, most of the work, you know how what you've done up until now, so probably recreating it will go a lot faster. And if we don't need to create yeah, everything uh, that we have had up until now and just keep to a limited amount of levels, I think uh, it's possible to still finish the project without any crunch time. All right. That will be perfect. Thank you guys for understanding, seriously. No Thank you for coming forward. I was really brave and honest. Thank you.